Hi, and welcome back to Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars. Let's get straight into it. I am quite sure that I have done everything I need to do here in Paris. I'm going to check out the site de Baphomet. Wow, he's had a bit of an accident with some paint, it looks like. He reminds me of the worker that was digging his hole. What's over there? Oh, darn. <laughs> I left my grappling hook at home. No way could I get up there. Darn it. The archway was topped by a fancy balustrade. Okay, what about this dude? The painter didn't seem to regard the painting as too important. <laughs> Not as important as a cigarette break, anyway. True, but, you know, everyone needs to have a break. Uh, I already know I need to distract the painter somehow. Hey, you! Get away from my dumpster! <laughs> okay. It looks just to be filled with bricks. Like, why do you care, dude? There are stairs going down, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. Oh, I see I can touch his bucket, but let's talk to this guy first. Excuse me, could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. Um, tell me about yourself. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't think I've ever seen a Galois smoked so stylishly. <laughs> it's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. <laughs> Merci. Vive l'indifférence. Vive l'indifférence. So, what are you doing here? I am having my break. Yeah, I mean, when you finish your break. When I finish my break, an interesting concept, <laughs> monsieur. You'll probably need to think about it. I could have another cigarette while I consider. <laughs> Perhaps tomorrow too? Jeez. Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of debris. And to touch up damage to the door frames with my little pot of paint. It's a very responsible job. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm not a very <laughs> responsible person. Well, at least he's honest. So what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but uh, la. You couldn't be bothered to join. <laughs> right. Tell you what, though. I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. Mm, tell me about them. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? <laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist <laughs> looks like? Sleepy suits, crocodile-eyed attache cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. <laughs> so, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? Wow, this guy. Speaking of archaeologists, it always... When I picture that, I always think of Indiana Jones. So that's what comes to my mind. What does the word Templar suggest to you? Templar? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Great. Have you seen this man before? Yes, he asked <gasps> me a lot of questions, Ooh. just like you. Has a guy calling himself Merlin been nosing around? Was he wearing a t-shirt with my name is Merlin in it? <laughs> I doubt it. Then how the hell am I supposed to know his name just by looking at him? Huh? So true. Okay, so... Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. I need to somehow get rid of this guy so I can go and have a look at the archaeological dig because I'm sure he won't let me go in. Okay. He really doesn't care, does he? Oh. We have a security guard. A door, a phone. Oh, there's so many things to do in this room. What am I going to do? Yep, that was definitely debris. I couldn't see any use for a collection of dirt and half bricks. Hmm. The doorway led to an old utility closet that had lost its door. 
There was nothing interesting in there. Okay. But maybe I will have to hide in there one day. I couldn't imagine what I'd achieved by turning the dial. <laughs> I love how the security guard just doesn't care. Can I use their phone? Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest. I'm paid to guard this door. The phone can look after <laughs> itself. Hi, Nico. Josh, what have you discovered? Nothing yet. Nothing? Is, is something wrong? No. Josh, why are you calling me? <laughs> oh, no reason. I just wanted to hear your voice. You did? <laughs> well, this is my voice saying, don't bother me, I'm busy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor George. Oh, what can I do in here? I need to get the guard away from the door. Surely he's got something to do with the paint. There's a pulley system. There's so many things I can think of. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. Hmm. That door's locked, monsieur. Toilet door. I guess I'm just going to have to talk to this guy. Hi. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> oui. Toilet. I can ask to use the toilet. So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? <laughs> Take it easy. I just didn't realize you were a guard. I'd like to know what you're guarding, please. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> it wouldn't happen to be an archaeological site, would it? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why ask? I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. <laughs> what do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Then he said, Nothing. Nothing at all? Is this a test? Mm. What, like a history pop test? <laughs> no, like a test. Okay, yes, it's a test. Then I know absolutely nothing about the Templars. Right. The guard was being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than goodwill to get past him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm thinking a toilet. I've got... I thought better of showing him the chalice. He might be on the conspiracy's payroll, and I didn't want to risk it. Oui? You have <laughs> a sudden urge to <laughs> sing. Care to join me? No. No singing in here. Oh, am I ready to use the toilet just yet? Maybe. Trying to get into a locked oh. washroom. I had the strongest feeling of deja vu. Mm -hmm. I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. Wonderful. Thank you. That's kind of too easy. Right, let's go and see what pleasures we might find in the toilet again. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, I can see many, many things. Shovel, some boiler, an actual toilet, a chain, but the chain is not breakable this time. A dripping tap. Hmm. I didn't want to use that unless I really had to. There must be. The cold tap's washer looked to have failed. It was just dribbling down the sink. I can pick up. Soap. There must be something to do with that the soap and the tap. This really makes my mind a race with having to think what to do here. Being in a charming comfort station like this made me think <laughs> fondly of the toilet in Syria. <laughs> that place was kept in pretty good order. At least it had been until I vandalized it. <laughs> Still, it was all for a good cause. Yes, it was. Maybe I can sabotage that somehow. Capacious as my pockets were, I didn't figure I could cram a shovel in them. The shovel used to feed the furnace was stuck into the pile of coal. I didn't want any coal. The taps were rusty. Oh, boy! The taps are rusty. Do I have anything for that? I don't think so. Paper towel dispenser. That's a dryer. 
that's a dryer. What can I do with that? I could have climbed onto the sink, prized the ventilator cover loose, wedged myself into the tiny hole, smashed the far cover out, and plunged headfirst into the next room. Or I could just <laughs> go through the door like a sane person. <laughs> he is so funny. I'm not sure what else to do in here right now, but I do have the soap, so that is something. I didn't think that the guard would just let me waltz past. Besides, I had a hunch that door was locked. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, what do I do? Hey, monsieur! Don't go with my keys. Oh, he wants the keys back. I think I'm done in there. For now, anyway. I think I can always get the keys back off him if I need to go back in there. But there needs to be something done with the paint bucket. And also, uh, that pulley system is down in the basement there. So maybe I need to put something in the bucket. Hey, monsieur, get away from my paint pot. <laughs> okay, I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. <laughs> I need to get rid of this guy. What if I give the soap to this guy? He can clean up. Would you be interested in soap? <laughs> Not at this exact moment, no. Oh boy. Maybe I can put something into. Oh. Hmm. It's at moments like these that I just think, what do I do now? I know that I need to somehow get in that room. I need to do something with the paint pot. It needs to involve a lot of distraction. You know, maybe I should... Oh no, I can't leave with his keys. Hi again. I was thinking maybe the worker up the top wanted the keys, but he was never allowed to go to the toilet. Hi again. I've got the keys for the toilet back, but I can't get upstairs as he makes me give the keys to him. I can't make fake keys, can I? Like, make... I made an impression of the big key and the cake of soap. What? Okay. And then we're going to need that water that's dripping, right? I carefully sprinkled the plaster into the soap mold <laughs> and made of the key. Let's put it under the little water. <laughs> it's not going to work. Oh, and he's going to... Oh, yes. That's what that was for. Yes. Nice. He put the soap well, back. It had taken a while, <laughs> but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have mm. to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria mm -hmm. hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. Let's try. Hmm. Maybe not. Huh? Why, do <laughs> Why does that not work now, though? It's not working. Hmm. I love how they give you this clue of, okay, this is what you do next, and it's not what you do at all. What about putting it in the coal? Oh, come on. How do I... It was my plaster copy of the excavation key. Trouble was, it looked like plaster, and it felt like plaster. What about if we paint it? Would that work? 
Surely you can rub the key around in the coal. That would that would work. What if we try giving the plaster keys to the guard instead? He's not going to buy that. Hi again. What is it? Hey, smart. Why don't I just tell him <laughs> that I'm trying to break in the excavation? <laughs> Here's your keys back. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. Uh, the bucket of paint he has is grey. So I need to distract this guy and dip my key in the paint bucket, right? Hey, monsieur, get away from my paint pot. But it is not easy to distract this guy. What can I do? I have no idea, but that is what I need to do. The paint is grey. I need to paint my key. Couleur. Hi, Nico. It's me. I'm at the excavation site. Oh. Goodbye, George. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I need your help. What kind of help? I told you I'm busy. <laughs> this will only take a few minutes. I promise. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to keep somebody on the phone for a while. Who? The a pa painter. I need to get at his pot. <laughs> oh, okay. Stay on the line. I'll go and get him. Wow. That's crazy. What's he going to say? Someone's on the phone for you? <laughs> He's not going to care. He doesn't even know Nico. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> what now? Uh -huh. <laughs> You've got a phone call. For me? Are you certain? It's a woman. She sounded hot. <laughs> what woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. <laughs> Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. It wouldn't do to keep the lady from uh, her hunk. <laughs> oh, he dropped his cigarette. I wonder if I can pick that up. Ah, oh, quick. Get my key. Put it in the paint pot. Yes. Is there anything else that I can do here while I'm here? I'm just desperately trying everything I can now. The key looks amazing. I think there's nothing else I can do with that paint pot. I wonder what Nico is saying to that guy. Well, monsieur, what a strange woman. She was all over me, and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? What? Abuse? Ah, well, I have a cigarette to finish. And monsieur, if she calls again, I am not available. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you didn't put the key in the paint pot then. If... If you can't ever get past that bit of the story. What is it? I am going to put the fake key, my plaster key, onto the key ring. Quickly and without fuss, I swapped the fake key for the real thing. Right. But that still doesn't help me. Get in the door. Okay, you can have your fake keys back. What is it? I couldn't give him the keys. The false key looked pretty convincing, but it felt exactly <gasps> like what it was. Painted plaster. He was bound to detect it. Okay, we're not ready yet. We need to do something else with those keys. We need to do something else. How do we make that key feel different? All I can think of is this coal. It doesn't work. How do I make the keys feel different? How do I make them feel different? It will always have that plastery feel. How can I... How can I change that? 
with what I have available. How to change the feel of the key. Why am I just thinking about the call? I, I don't see what else I can do. What is that thing anyway? I couldn't imagine what I'd achieved by turning the dial. A thermostat was mounted over a radiator. The radiator was pumping out heat as the thermostat was cranked right over to full. No wonder it was warm in here, even with the door open to the chill of fall. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hi again. What is it? It sure is hot in here. I have to have the door open to allow the workmen access, so why not? I turn the heat up. Mm. You could wrap up warm. I have my gloves if it gets cold, but why bother when it's warm anyway? <laughs> Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. If he is wearing gloves, he wouldn't be able to feel that that is plaster. It, it wouldn't have that feel to it, but I, I don't think I can, I can't change the dial. <laughs> I turned the heating off. He's going to notice. He would notice that as if he won't notice. Hi again. <gasps> He's getting cold. Did he just put his gloves on? <gasps> what is it? He's put his gloves on here. I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't notice the substitution. Here's the keys. Uh, thanks. Merci, monsieur. Yes. I still can't get in his room. And I don't need his fake keys Talk anymore. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. How do I distract him so I can get into that room? I don't know what how to get rid of that guard. Maybe Nico again. Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. <laughs> what do you want this time? What did you say to the painter? <laughs> I shan't repeat it, Josh. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Could you call back and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call oh, back no. soon. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So George is going to... Just wait. Come on, guy. Answer the phone. <laughs> no, George. The guard should have went up to, to tell him. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. Hey, you! It's the phone! Yeah? Who is it? How should I know? What am I? Your social secretary? <laughs> it's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are you going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten <laughs> chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to her. <laughs> I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to talk to her. <laughs> you refuse? You refuse? I'm wasting valuable time. Don't make me laugh. Your time valuable? <laughs> you just stand around all day. I have a highly responsible job. Pa, don't pa me, you <laughs> elephantine oaf. My job is important. Impossible. They would have hired somebody competent in that case. Oh. Meaning what? Instead of which they hired a dismal rent a cup like you. Wow. George, don't just or stand a there. And no brains. Why you? This looks set to carry on for some yes, time. Yes, come on. It was too good an opportunity to miss. Yes, finally. I was trying to move my mouse everywhere to get him downstairs. Come on, George. Key that room now. Go. 
But there's people in there, right? It's an archaeological dig, unless there's nobody there right now. Whoa, whoa, there's that statue we saw. We saw that in the tunnel at, at Bull's Head. Okay, okay. There was no doubt about it. It was the same sort of idol I'd seen in Syria, mm -hmm. a vomit. The Templars had certainly been through here. Okay. What can I do and quickly? Uh, no, thanks. I think <laughs> I'm carrying enough junk. <laughs> Close up. The pattern didn't make any sort of sense. It fanned out around an axis point. A kind of focus to one side. Hmm. Here we go. Oh. And there it was, decoded by the curves of the chalice. Oh. The image of a church. Wow. Oh. What? We're back? I found out what the chalice was for. <laughs> You've solved the puzzle? Yeah, there was a distorted picture at the Baphomet site. When I viewed it in the polished surface of the chalice, it changed. What did it show? A picture of a church with a square tower. Right, a picture of a church with a square tower. Does she know that? Church with a square tower. That's where we need to go next. Not sure where that is. That's the clue that led me to the statue of Baphomet and the reflection in the chalice. Yes. It's like we've pieced together all of the clues now. We've figured out what all of these symbols mean. That's fantastic. But what shall we do next? Look at the chalice now, Nico. What happened? It's Shani. The priest at Montfaucon buffed it up for me. That's incredible. Yeah, looks as good as new. No. You found a use for a priest. That's incredible. Nico. <laughs> I guess I'd better return the chalice to the Countess. Oh. Sorry back, Josh. Oh, okay. Let's go back there and give her back her chalice then. That's what I need to do next. I guess I don't need it anymore. Okay, let's go back to the Countess. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I've been planning to return the chalice anyway, but I hadn't expected the trail to bring me here. The villa de Vasconcelos was as picturesque as ever. The weather was still clear, and Lopez was still watering the <laughs> damn lawn. I was beginning to suspect that he was surgically attached to that hose. Hi there, Lopez. How's tricks? Senor Stobart. How pleasant to see you. You are well. Fine, thanks. <laughs> is the Countess in? She is waiting for you. Oh. I will show you up. It's okay. I know the way. Senior Stobart, I feel I owe you Aww. an apology. No, you don't. I was impolite on our first meeting. <laughs> Look, Lopez, just forget about it. I came on like a snake oil merchant. I wouldn't have trusted me in your shoes. Yeah. You do not understand. Finding the chalice has given my lady a new lease of life. Aww. It's a marvel. She Aww. smiles. She laughs. The tradesmen are saying that she is on <laughs> Prozac. Oh, that's so nice. I'm glad she's happy now. So the Countess feels that the curse is lifted. I would not put it so strongly. Your discovery of the chalice was proof that the Templars never abandoned the De Vasconcelos. It counts for a great deal with my lady. Hmm. What's the story behind the chalice vanishing? When the Inquisition raided, in the absence of Don Carlos, it was believed that they had taken it. Naturally, they denied the charge as they denied taking the children. Hmm. And naturally, nobody believed them. But they were telling the truth. The chalice was hidden from them. You don't suppose they were telling the truth about the children as well, do you? 
Madre de Dios. I had not thought of that. But then what happened to them? I don't know. If the Inquisition didn't take them, then who did? You must speak for my lady of these. Count on it. Hmm. I've had the chalice polished. Oh, it is magnificent. Hmm. Catch you later, Lopez. Oh, I'm glad that I could make her happy. I'm really pleased, and that Lopez likes me as well. That's wonderful. Let's go and see the Countess. There she is, still with her chessboard. <laughs> Senor Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please, sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Hmm. Why? You've had it clean. Hmm. Yeah, I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. <laughs> Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knight <sighs> secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Mm. Ah, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. Yeah, I mean, we don't want Khan and his crew to be able to get their hands on anything. So I guess we need to hurry up and get there first because they are almost neck and neck with us, aren't they? I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcelos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You <laughs> have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. <laughs> I don't know if she would go with George. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. What are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32.7, yes. Corinthians. I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible chapter and verse. I meant, what are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest. <gasps> no, I think we have to go back and ask. There's still the mystery of the missing chess piece. I do not think that it will ever be discovered unless the fate of the children is revealed. The Inquisition were suspected of taking the chalice and the kids, right? We know now they were innocent of the first crime. What if... They did not take the children either. Then what happened to them? The Inquisition admitted to killing Don Carlos's manservant. Now, this guy had been told to protect the kids at all costs, right? That is correct. I think he hid them and the chalice when he got wind that the Inquisition was coming. Mm. With him dead and Don Carlos driven mad with grief, there was nobody left who knew the secret. Okay. You know what this means, don't you? I fear so. Yes. The children are still here somewhere. Yes. If this is so... Then it is small wonder that the de Vasconcellos are cursed. But does this mean that the children are still... They wouldn't be alive, surely. I and mean, they wouldn't be children anymore. Wouldn't they all be dead? I'll have a look around, if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Let's go to that place in the yard. See how there's the Templar symbol there on the side? But let's go inside. Yes, it's open. Wonderful. Okay, what can I do here? I can actually do some things this time. I thought that I should be able to lift the lids off the coffins or the tombs with this sewer key. George Stobart, grave robber. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. What is that to pick up? Ah, yes. Did I just pick up something? Oh! 
It was the Spanish Bible I borrowed from the mausoleum. Okay. We probably need to do something with that. That may be... That may have to go somewhere. Surely I need to close that, right? I've wanted to close that window for so long. But... I feel like I need to light that candle up. Or I need to put something onto the pole to light up the candle with, right? Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. It's never been lit. I want to light that up. I want to light that up. I feel that there could be something inside the candle. Well, I haven't done much in there, but I have found the Bible. So, could we look up those verses in this Bible that we have here? Of course, George can't read Spanish, so maybe Lopez or the Countess will be able to look them up. Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. Very well. Let us begin. The first reference. Yes. Psalms 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding mm. place. Hiding Don't get place. your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay. John 4, 11. John 4, 11. Here. The well is deep. Mm -hmm. The next. Well. Uh, quickly. Okay, okay. Uh, Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is. We'll bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. Hmm. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns, what does it mean? Mm. I can't guess. No. Salient points seem to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is the mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything Wonderful. pertaining to the estate. All right. So off we go to Lopez. I think that reference about the light was with the tripod and the gem. And the first one was for the chalice. So we just need to figure out the well and also something to do with lions and unicorns, which I don't know what that could mean. Well, you must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Concellos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? <gasps> si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. Yes. How can you last a siege without water? Mm. Great. So where is it? How should I know? <laughs> the well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. Mm. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Hmm. Well, you must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard. So that would put it around here. Here? Okay. okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. He's not going to want us to dig up his beautiful grass. Any ideas yet? Not as yet, <laughs> Senor Stobart. I shall give it more thought. Right, so there's a well here somewhere. I don't know if we just need to wait for Lopez to think about it some more. Like, maybe you have to come back in like five minutes. Or if we need to find it ourselves somewhere. 
I'm still thinking I want to do something with that candle. I want to light up the candle or knock it down or something. You cannot light, you cannot touch the pole onto these candles, which I think is really silly. But you can put the tissue on it and now touch it onto the candle. Yes. And now let's light up this one. Finally. I love that. Can I keep my tissue? I love that. Haha. <laughs> Okay, George is waiting there a long time. <gasps> and there's a statue or something in there, right? There's a statue. Wow. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but oh. only for a couple of minutes. What? That's Some weird. Some kind of special formulation, I guess. And had yielded up this. A complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Key? A key? A key? What is it? It was a smooth, intricately carved piece of stone that had been concealed inside the great candle. Wow. So what do we use this key on? I couldn't reach up there. I knew that was something to do with it. I love that I did that. Oh, I can't pick up the pole again. What if I put the key onto the pole? Oh, my tissue has changed. The tissue was pretty charred, but the <gasps> grease paint had done most of the burning. My tissue is different. It's a burnt tissue now. Wow. We might need to use that key when Lopez thinks about where the well could be. Let's go and see if he's figured out where it could be yet. Or if he knows what the key is, no, he wouldn't know. Hi, he Lopez. wouldn't know. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Mm -hmm. Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? With a stick? Eh? You know, right. you get a stick and walk around <laughs> until the stick twitches and dig there. Hmm. Oh, you've heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. <laughs> okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special oh. stick. A Y of hazel. Hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? <gasps> si. no. Oh, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think he would. That is hazel. Fantastic. Do you know what this is? No, senor. Is it some kind of key? Yeah, I think it probably is. Where did you get it? It was hidden inside the big candle in the mausoleum. And you burnt it? I wondered <laughs> what the light was I saw through the window. My lady will be furious. <laughs> the candle was centuries old. Ah. Well, we needed the key. All right, so where are these hazel trees? I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable <laughs> oh. Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. Really? Come on. So that was what a hazel tree looks like. Okay, so there must be more hazel trees around. Why can't you just cut off a branch and make a Y into it? When I was younger, I used to do that water dowsing stuff but I never did that with hazel so no wonder why it never worked I went over to find a suitable stick aha uh -huh. oh <laughs> that's not a hazel tree though is it we actually have a stick it was a thin supple oh. twig of hazel fantastic 
That's awesome. I think we might leave it there for today and we'll pick up on our hazel stick adventure next time. That was so much fun. I love coming back to places that I've already been and seeing the thoughts that I've had previously actually have something happen with them. I knew that the candle and the window and the stick, it was something. So I'm really pleased that all these little thoughts I've had actually pan out and it's actually useful. I did like going to the archaeological dig though. That was extremely hard. There was many things there that it took me a long time to do but very enjoyable. The painter guy, he was so lazy. I wonder if he's still arguing with that, <laughs> with the security guard. This has been so much fun and I really hope you're enjoying Broken Sword as well. There'll be another episode out again next week, so hopefully you will join me for that one too. Until then, have a wonderful day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.